right, next position we're going to talk about is our hip hinge, one of our fundamental exercises here. So what we want to do is use any flat surface, kitchen table, countertop, anything that works. Get your hands down on that surface, and then what you're going to do is shoot the hips back. Good. Make sure those toes are pointing straight, and we're using that outside edge pressure on our feet. Keep those knees nice and straight too, and then we're going to shift our weight back and forth between our right foot and our left foot. And what we do in the hip hinge, guys, you want to um, maximize your hip hinge throughout the day and put yourself in this kind of butt back position, chest up position, straight back, and then again, a light shift. And you can hold your shifts for 20 or 30 seconds over to the right side, and then 20 or 30 seconds over on the left side. Uh, the lower the table, the more difficult, the higher the table. So if you're up on the countertop, you can rest your elbows. And you just want to start to develop this nice back extension with your hip hinge. Uh, good to do a five minute session, better to do a 10 minute session, uh, but also good to do three or four or five minute sessions spread out throughout the day so you can uh, you know, kind of get comfortable with your hip stretch left and hip stretch right.